It was less than two weeks ago that this campus was full of excited students returning to the classroom for the first time in over a year. We know that we are not in control, so we have to, you know, go with the times. And in this case, going back to the remote schedule, it's unfortunate that this is happening, but it also was expected. El Dorado High became the first public school to be forced to close after more than 10 students and faculty tested positive. All but one of the positive COVID cases at El Dorado High School appear to have occurred off campus. So what does that mean? Well, school officials tell us that state contact tracers inform them the students and faculty got the disease from someone else off campus. There are a lot of questions around whether or not there was infection at sporting events, which, as you know, were open even before the schools were open for in-person. El Dorado might not be the only school to close. Look at this list. These 13 schools have had at least two positive cases in the past 14 days. If they get four, the state will shut them down. I do think more schools will have to close for a certain amount of time, but not all schools. So for now, this parking lot will be empty. These doors will be closed and these gates will be locked for two weeks until students can return once again. All El Dorado athletics practices and games have been postponed for two weeks until the school is allowed to open again on April 28th. And we learned just over an hour ago, two more schools are voluntarily going back to remote learning because of COVID cases. Those are Mesa Alta Junior High School in Bloomfield and Socorro High School. Senate.